We are currently also working on Chandrayaan 2 mission which is going to carry our own indigenous orbiter, lander and rover. When we started this program, of course, we had the message that the lander was going to be provided by the Russians. But then because of the difficulties they faced during one of their launches, the time was going to be significantly delayed. So now we have reconfigured with our own lander and ro rover. Now we are targeting for 2017-2018 time frame, a 3250 kg liftoff mass of this uh, satellite which will carry orbiter, lander and the rover. And it will carry a series of uh, instruments which will enhance what we have done in the Chandrayaan-1 terrain mapping camera will continue and then the IR spectrometer which was working only up to 3 microns in the previous mission will now work up to 5 microns and it will be able to do a better detection of uh, water molecules and also the mapping of this on the surface. Then we have our own synthetic aperture radar which will be dual frequency S and X bands then the neutral mass spectrometer the lander will have a seismometer and a thermal probe and then rover also will be there which will be moving on the surface of moon. Of course, uh, the one of the important aspects here is the lander realization is a new technology. We need throttleable engines for ensuring that soft landing happens on the surface of the moon. And then protecting the lander and rover payloads from dust is one of the issues. And then in-situ analysis of the lunar surface 